how to resolve workplace conflict in a nutshell. Workplace and family conflict and stress accounts for millions of pounds of lost revenue every year in the UK and a great deal of unhappiness. The good news is that much of this can be avoided, but the question is of course how. To start with, conflict in the workplace, at home or anywhere for that matter, is perfectly normal. Arguments take place every day and are resolved every day. It's not conflict itself that is damaging, but conflict which remains unresolved. So, what can we do about this? In this video, I will focus on four core human concerns which are at the heart of most arguments and unresolved conflict. Using this information, you simply need to apply what I call a lens and a lever approach. First, identify which core concerns are at play, the lens or analysis stage. And second, do something positive that stimulates in a positive emotion, the lever. These core concerns are the need for appreciation, the need for affiliation, the need for autonomy, and the need for status. Appreciation. If someone is feeling unappreciated, do something to make them feel more appreciated. This might simply involve some positive acknowledgement, confirming that you understand their concerns. Affiliation. If someone doesn't feel part of the team, do something positive that gives them a better sense of belonging. Autonomy. If someone feels that their views are not respected, find ways to include them more in the decision-making process. And finally, status. If someone feels that their role at work is being undermined, which is so often connected with a person's sense of identity, focus on that. Find ways to recognize them and their achievements. Now, it may well be that more than one, or indeed all of these areas of concerns are affected. But if you can have an open, honest discussion with that person, Understand what it is that's underlying any of the four core concerns being expressed, appreciation, affiliation, autonomy, and status. You can do something about them. So good luck, and thank you for watching.